It's been a winter like day out there currently sitting at 61 degrees in Bryan College Station 61 in Hearn 58 in Waco and the temperatures have really been held down due to the cloud cover we've been experiencing across the area. You can kind of see it here on sat red that grayish color. That's a cloud cover that we've dealt with throughout the entire day. No rain across the Brazos Valley, but across the four corner states, some snow there, some rain showers, and this is important because this is our next storm system that's working its way toward the four corners. This is going to help drag a cold front into the Brazos Valley as we move into late Tuesday, early Wednesday. Tomorrow morning, we're going to deal with a little bit of cloud cover across the Brazos Valley. I can't rule out maybe a spot shower, some drizzle, but most areas are going to be dry throughout the day, and there's going to be a noticeable uptick in the moisture as a warm front lifts north. A little bit of cloud cover during the afternoon, maybe a few peaks of sun though, and that's going to make the atmosphere just a little bit juicy, and that could spark a few showers and storms when this cold front over the Texas Panhandle slowly works its way toward the south late Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. Let's go ahead and track this cold front as it works its way south into the Brazos Valley. Nothing going on out there late tomorrow evening, but as the cold front starts to work toward the south and it taps into a little bit of that moisture and instability, we're going to see a few showers and storms develop along the cold front just after midnight Tuesday into early Wednesday morning. These red and yellow colors indicate that there's the possibility of a few of these storms kind of getting their act together, possibly producing just a little bit of hail and some gusty winds. I do think the main severe threat is going to be just northeast of the Brazos Valley. Actually, this yellow shaded area is a level one risk from the Storm Prediction Center. So there's a possibility of a few severe storms, but I think as you get up towards Tyler, Texarkana, that's where there's the better chance for some of these storms to be strong to severe. That's where you have most of the upper level forcing kind of uh, allowing these storms to really get their act together. But again, a few of these could be strong moving into early Wednesday morning should clear Bryan College Station as we get just below before the sunrise hour. So by the time you head to work on Wednesday, looking like it's going to be pretty nice out there with drying conditions. But this isn't the end of it. We have another storm system that's going to work its way into the Brazos Valley late week into the weekend. This is currently in the Gulf of Alaska. This is the storm system, a big bad boy system that's going to really cause some pretty big impacts for the Brazos Valley in the form of some showers and storms. Some could be on the severe side, and it's really going to help cool those temperatures down. By the middle of the week, it's already going to work into the Pacific Northwest and then gradually start to dive off toward the south and the east, impacting the four corners by late week. And at this point, it's going to help drive a cold front into Texas, and that's going to start generating some of the showers and storms, especially as we get some uh, air moving in from the south and the west. That'll really kind of help enhance the rainfall across the Brazos Valley on Friday, and then that's going to continue as the system slow works its way across Texas over the weekend into early next week. So late Friday, Saturday, Sunday, maybe early Monday, we're going to have the possibility for quite a bit of rain out there, maybe a few severe storms late Friday, early Saturday, and then we're going to see those rainfall totals really beefed up because of this slow moving storm system. Two to three inches, a real possibility across the Brazos Valley in the northeastern zone may actually see isolated four inch amounts. We need this rain though. We're still dealing with the drought condition, so every drop is going to be beneficial. I do think that the flood threat is going to be on the low side, but still with the two to three inches of rain, if you live near a creek or a low lying area, just keep an eye on it. We'll continue to monitor this over the next few days and the cold fronts really going to be abundant over the next few days. You can see we have three cold fronts and it's really going to knock those temperatures down early next week. We could actually stay in the upper 40s for high temperatures for some areas, Gabriella. Lows falling dangerously close to freezing. Ooh, I don't know. Oh. <laughs> I, I like that and I don't. I don't know. But, you know, we're getting towards December. Yeah, I mean, that. yeah, it, it, the closer we get to December, the closer we get to winter. So we got to expect these uh, winter like cold fronts. I really did not expect you to say the word freezing at all. <laughs> Luckily, we have no freezing precipitation in the forecast that where it gets a little bit dicey. So no snow, no sleet, nothing like that. But we could be flirting with freezing early next week. That's good to hear. Well, Mike Lucas has your sports headlines up next, and then we've got some business news for you. Stick around. More KX after this.